Megan. I'm Evelyn. Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Emma. The social justice issue that we chose is youth homelessness. Youth can become homeless for a variety of reasons, which can include fleeing or being forced out of homes where there's neglect, abuse, or childhood trauma. Kids may feel unwanted by a new step-parent or because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. They also may have aged out of the child welfare system. Without resources, family support, or the skills to live independently, kids can find themselves on the street where they face exploitation and other dangers. The longer youth remain homeless, the more barriers they face to escape street life and build a future. We researched charities that deal with youth homelessness and found Covenant House. So we took a trip downtown to visit Covenant House and we learned a lot about it. I to see where my luck goes. I just don't know how it's lived There must be some kind of plan. Every person could be you though. A pretty guy with a halo. The first Covenant House location was created by a priest named Bruce Ryder. The idea to open a Covenant House location in Toronto started with the late Cardinal Carter, who rallied community support after finding many kids sleeping outside of his downtown office. Opened in 1982, Covenant House Toronto was the second international site established in the highly recognized child care agency. This 28-site network spans from Alaska to Latin America. Covenant House has a very positive impact on their community in downtown Toronto. They provide a very safe space for children to grow, become independent, and develop themselves. The Covenant House mission is to serve suffering children on the street and protect and safeguard all children with absolute respect and unconditional love. The charity reaches their number one goal of being able to take care of youth's immediate needs. They allow children to physically walk into the shelter and seek access to resources that they may not have had access to for a really long time such as a health care clinic that is 100% donor funded, so a health card is not needed to use the program. Of all the charities that deal with youth homelessness, you may be wondering why we picked Covenant House. So Covenant House is different for three reasons. The first is their funding structure. They are 80% donor funded and only about 14% government funded. This means that they are able to adapt and change their programs on the fly and able to grow and expand rapidly, whereas other government programs need to stick to a set plan. Another thing that makes them different is their location. They're very close to Young and Dundas. This is good because when youth is new to Toronto and has no contacts or resources, it's accessible to them and right on the subway line. And the final reason is that they all have these different programs to offer. They look to offer more than just a space that is shelter-based. They have healthcare clinic and a school on site and many other employment options. More than just a shelter, they are an agency. My favorite thing about Covenant House is that they don't only help reduce homelessness, but they also reduce the amount of kids with the inability to gain a job. They have so many programs in areas where a job can be accessible to youth in the future. The biggest short-term goal in Covenant House is to really adopt the policy of relentless engagement. They want youth to do things. For example, if there's a youth who's staying with them and seems to be spending a lot of time on the couch, not really doing a lot Maybe a youth worker would try to convince them to do something and also use that to encourage their youth to join more programs. Covenant House offers multiple different services to focus on basic needs. These include crisis care, their community apartment program, cooking for life, and independent services. In crisis care, they provide the youth with their basic needs to ensure that they are well taken care of. The independent services focus on allowing kids to gain independence once they leave Covenant House. These services include on-site high school, job prep, life skills, training, and long-term residence. One example of their resident service is their community apartment program. In this program, kids stay in an apartment in the community at a subsidized rate to ensure maximum independence. The final program that I will be discussing is their Cooking for Life program, which allows youth to gain their certification in the service industry. Here, they learn how to cook and basic skills to becoming a chef. But with about 300 youth per day, and 95,000 youth since opening their doors in 1982, you would probably guess that the programs have changed and run into problems. However, with a constant demand for housing, Covenant House is always growing. With renovations occurring, there is less usable space and a growing amount of youth. 
This is a problem. While with Covenant House's donations, I'm sure this problem will be solved. These programs were designed specifically to ensure that the youth have multiple options for their different situations. Once again, Covenant House tries to focus on their new life after staying at Covenant House. They try to focus on resilience and to help them not only for today, but for tomorrow as well. Covenant House's principles are immediacy, kids come in crisis and are granted their basic needs. Communicating values. They show their youth that caring relationships are built on trust, respect, and honesty. Sanctuary. Kids come off the street and don't really trust anyone, and Covenant House hopes to make them feel like they are in a safe, protected environment. Structure. Street life is unstable and unpredictable. At Covenant House, they receive a structured set of expectations. Choice. Covenant House helps their youth make positive choices and encourages them to believe in themselves. Covenant House has hit so many milestones since they first opened doors to a 30-bed shelter in 1982. Then, right after that, in 1983, they began an on-site health clinic. Soon after, in 1988, they started an on-site school. And then, when you jump to 2006, they started programs for youth with mental health needs. In 2013, they started a community apartment program. In the future, they will be able to hit so many more milestones with your support and raising of awareness so that they can reach the goals that they want to to help so many more youth in the future. Around 23% of the money is spent on running activities around the charity, while the actual amount of money they spend on running activities is around $4 million. The money, according to them, would be spent on whatever is most needed at the time. Also, as a side note, 5000 the grant money, is enough to treat at least 20 kids off the street. They are very efficient at balancing and using resources they have. Also, they are trying to find even better ways to use resources, even though they are pretty good at it. There are many donors and fundraisers who help Covenant House financially. A couple of them are Accenture.Inc, Air Canada Foundation, American Eagle Outfitters Foundation, among many others to list here. Also, there are many people who donate, such as a man named Colin Chapman. Covenant House gets around $17.3 million a year. To put that in perspective, the money they get from donors each year could be used to cover program costs for an entire year's worth. C is for Crisis Care, available 24-7. Always for Open to Youth, 16 to 24. V is for Variety of Programs Available. E is for Educate and Advocate for Change. N is for National Leader. A is for All Genders, Races, and Religions are Accepted. N is for Nonstop Growth and Evolution of Programs. T is for transitional housing on site. If we weren't here, then maybe those services wouldn't be available in such a centralized location. These are the words of the representative that we spoke to from Covenant House. It is true that without Covenant House in downtown Toronto, there would be so many more kids that are sleeping on the streets without the help and services that they really need.